Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best unscripted moments from DC movies. My mother sculpted me from clay and I was brought to life by Zeus. Well, that's neat. <laughs> <laughs> You're dead. You think you could steal from us and just walk away? Yeah. For this list, we're going over the improvised or otherwise unplanned moments from films based on DC Comics properties. If there's an off-the-cuff DC moment we leaped over in a single bound, please tell us your favorites in the comments below. Number 10. Bane's Compliment – The Dark Knight Rises Bane may have a voice that everyone loves to lampoon, but he's still an intimidating and effective villain. No one cared who I was till I put on the mask. If I pull that off, will you die? It would be extremely painful. You're a big guy. For you. One of his biggest and most heinous actions in the movie is when he bombs Gotham's football stadium. However, in the lead up to the bombing, we're treated to a haunting montage set to a young boy singing the American national anthem. Who say can you see by the dawn's early light? Bane pauses before exiting the tunnel onto the field, commenting that the boy has a lovely, lovely voice. According to the film's producers, actor Tom Hardy improvised this line. He may be playing a villain, but he knows a good singer when he hears one. That's a lovely, lovely voice. Number 9. Batman Reacts to Doomsday – Batman vs Superman – Dawn of Justice The Dark Knight himself has been known to improvise plans in combat, and his actors are quick on their feet, too. During the climactic scenes of Batman vs Superman, the villain Doomsday is unleashed on the world. Now God is good as dead. The demonic-looking creature lands right in front of Batman, prompting him to mutter a decidedly not PG-13 oath. Oh, shit. Actor Ben Affleck revealed in an interview with Entertainment Weekly that he came up with the line himself. Batfleck felt that saying it at that moment was what anyone in a similar situation would say. We can't say we disagree. Number 8. A Dance with the Joker in the Pale Moonlight – Batman the Joker is an unpredictable character, and the actors who play him are equally wild. In Tim Burton's Batman film, the Joker attacks Bruce Wayne and Vicki Vale in her apartment. He offers the incognito Batman a clue to his identity by using a turn of phrase Bruce is all too familiar with about dancing with the devil in the pale moonlight. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? I always ask that of all my prey. I just like the sound of it." However, the Joker soon offers up a different sort of dance. After knocking out Batman's alter ego, the Joker leaves, doing a sort of curtsy and blowing a raspberry as he departs. Jack Nicholson delivered the impromptu jig and rude noise completely of his own volition. Uh, <laughs> Number 7. The Fridge – Joker uh, Murray, one small thing. Yeah. When you bring me out, can you introduce me as Joker? While we're on the subject of the Joker, the clown prince of crime also had several moments of improv in his titular movie. One such moment occurs when Arthur Fleck, the would-be Joker, is alone in his apartment. Depressed at the downward spiral his life has taken, Fleck climbs inside his refrigerator as he listens to a message from two detectives on his answering machine. Hello, Mr. Fleck, this is Detective Garrett. We met the other night at Gotham General. My partner and I had a few more questions for you. Star Joaquin Phoenix didn't tell anyone he was going to climb inside the fridge, leaving the crew as spellbound by his bizarre behavior as the audience. Number 6. Boat Talk – Wonder Woman Yes, we sleep. We just don't sleep with, uh... You don't sleep with women? No, I mean, I do sleep with women. I sleep with... <laughs> Steve Trevor and Diana of Themyscira are absolutely adorable together, and their conversation while sailing to Europe illustrates this perfectly. Diana has a hard time understanding Steve's reluctance to sleep next to her, though she eventually convinces him. So you cannot sleep with me unless I, I marry I will, you. I'll sleep with you if you want. I'll sleep right there. There's I'll plenty sleep. of room. Then fine, if you don't mind, I'll go no, ahead. No, so it's I know. up to you. I'm they then discuss, among other things, reproduction, marriage, and Diana's origins. It's awkward, funny, and very real. A big the reason why it feels so authentic is that the whole scene was improvised by the actors. We have no idea how they both managed to keep a straight face through the whole thing. You would not enjoy them. I don't know, maybe. No, you wouldn't. Why not? 
They came to the conclusion that men are essential for procreation, but when it comes to pleasure, unnecessary. Number five, redheads, Aquaman. In pursuit of a lost kingdom in the Sahara Desert, Arthur Curry and Mira hire a plane to take them to their destination. While en route, the duo discusses Mira's newfound experience with flying, as well as her worry over returning to Atlantis. Yeah, but you're engaged with the king. They have to take you back. Atlantis is many wonderful things, but forgiving does not. When her device signals they're close, she does what any sensible person would do and jumps out of the plane. If it was her first time flying, how did she know she wouldn't die from the fall? The pilot is probably wondering something similar when he notices she didn't have a parachute. Aquaman quips, Redheads! You gotta love them! and then joins her. This line was reportedly improvised by actor Jason Momoa. It is the perfect cherry on top of a great scene. Number four, call for help, Shazam. Actor Zachary Levi is hilarious, both as the adult version of Billy Batson and in general. So it's no surprise he improvised one of his lines in this comedy-filled superhero film. You just made 73 bucks. 73 bucks? <laughs> Come on! Hey, wait a minute. I just got an idea. I'd like to purchase some of your finest beer, please. When the villainous Dr. Savannah engages Shazam in battle, the new superhero finds his first real challenge. Crashing through a mall's changing rooms, Billy is panicked when his foe pursues him. This is crazy, you don't have to fight this guy. This isn't your job, you can run, right? Yes, you can run, awesome. As he goes through a toy aisle, he lobs a toy Batman statue at Savannah, asking Batman to get him. Levi requesting a team up in the spur of the moment like this is almost better than having the real Batman show up. Almost. Get back! Get, get away! Get him, Batman! Number three, bathroom dance, Joker. Yeah, it's another moment from Joker, but can you blame us? Joaquin Phoenix disappeared into the role, and he made some very distinct and memorable choices and improvisations. Arthur Fleck dances many times during the movie. Hey, Arthur. You're a really good dancer. No, no. No, it's not. Him. While his famed staircase dance was scripted, several of the other times were not. While it was tempting to talk about the time he fires a gun in his apartment, our pick goes to the scene in the bathroom. Just after killing three men on the subway, Fleck has a minor breakdown in a bathroom and expresses his feelings through an interpretive dance. It is a strange and haunting moment, and it was all Phoenix's idea. Number two, Joker clap, The Dark Knight. Okay, it's the last Joker moment, we promise. Heath Ledger's take on the character is particularly erratic, and it made for lots of cinematic gold. Why so serious? He sticks the blade in my mouth. Let's put a smile on that face. For instance, shortly after the Joker's capture, Gordon is promoted by the mayor to commissioner. Tomorrow you take the big job. You don't have any say in the matter, Commissioner Gordon. As everyone claps, they're all surprised to see the Joker clapping along with them. Ledger didn't tell anyone he was going to do it, which made the chaotic villain's actions and the reactions to them feel even more authentic. Then again, anyone who isn't happy for Gordon is a real monster. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, I'm Batman. Batman. Roots, Wayne, Nespa. Most of the time. Yeah, really. Not only did Michael Keaton bring a famous physicality to the role with a full body turn, though the costume designers deserve plenty of credit, the actor also gave us one of the Dark Knight's most famous lines as well. It's all over the pavement. In the scene, Batman takes down two thugs and threatens one of them, asking him to spread the word about him. Don't kill me, man! Don't kill me! Don't kill me, man! I'm not going to kill you. 
I want you to do me a favor. I want you to tell all your friends about me. When asked what he is, Batman was reportedly supposed to respond that he is the Knight or Vengeance. However, director Tim Burton and Keaton weren't happy with the lines, so Keaton came up with a simple and iconic solution. What are you? I'm Batman. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.